This fabulous creature who's joining us today is one of her closest friends, which is how I became aware of her. But that's an absurd thing to say because this is an Edinburgh star. Oh my God, she's like totally- This is a London comedy star. She's- And this is a person who, there's nothing I love more at the moment than her Carrie Edmondson impersonation since she does of Boris Johnson's horrible wife, the one that they threw the laptop of each, each other in the apartment. Yeah, she's the that best. That the neighbors complained because he threw a laptop at her or whatever it was. Is she the they one who gets the donuts for him to eat every morning or whatever he's eating? He she, eats something crazy every day. Whatever night. it is, every time they're in public, she's admonishing him in a very quiet way. But whatever it is, I love this person. I love her comedy. I love her point of view. She's also an author. She wrote a book, Rana. Well, that's none of my business, but she could tell us oh, about it. Okay. Her name is Grace Campbell. You may know know her as Disgrace Campbell. That's right. Her book is amazing, Disgrace, and she's absolutely <laughs> hilarious and smart. And one of those people who gets like the great criticisms, like the, she gets good notices. She's also hilarious. Grace. Grace. Campbell's here. Hi, guys. How Thank are you? Thank you for you? being here. Did we, did, we, did we misrepresent you in any way? No, you represented me perfectly. perfectly. There we go. You're in New York yeah. right now. I'm in New York. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm really looking at quite a chic view from my hotel, and I've been here for a week. Uh, for I just fun did a tour. or for? Sort of both. I just did a yeah. tour in the UK, and then I was like, I'm going to like splash out and just take myself to New York and like – go on dates of like a hot American man and like get some mm. new material for my next show. But also yeah. I've been doing lots of meetings while I've been here. So it's been like both. Have you found any hot American man? Is that a in thing? In New York oh there's God, yeah. plenty. In New York there's Guys, a lot. What, like, what is actually going on? Like Hinge in New York is so much better. Uh, do you want to know London. something, Grace? I what? only go on Hinge when, I mean, I live in LA, but I'm in New York yeah. a lot. I only go on Hinge when I'm in New York. Exhausted. Hinge is so good here. It's like, honestly, so good because the people are not only hot, but they're intelligent. They do, they do various things. They're in various yeah. fields. It's amazing. Shall I get yeah. on Hinge or is there an age limit? No, you can get on it. No, you, you can definitely get on Hinge. I think we should well, put me on Hinge, Brian. Can you help me? I'll be your Hinge. Of course. I'll Hinge Mr. to Cleveland you. Might you should not definitely like be on Hinge. Yeah. Let's put well, she, me on Ronna, Hinge. you have a bo- boyfriend though. Well, <laughs> so what? Well, what do you, do you think, think no one who's on Hinge has a boyfriend or a girlfriend seeing a man or any who kind installs, of friend? Um, what does it have to do with you? It bothers you so much that we're not exclusive. It really bothers you so much. I think so it's much. disgusting, to be honest with you. <laughs> it really does. You become, a, you become a real Southern matchmaker when it comes to my personal <laughs> Well, Grace- you, can I talk about Mr. Cleveland a little? Ron's yeah, boyfriend. What are we yes. gonna, Grace only he, has an hour. What are you going to bother install, her for? Like if you ever need your carpet cleaned, he'll come oh, over come and on. do it. You know what? That's a very sexually suggestive thing to say to a person like Grace. Oh, no. That's quite hot. I'm not going to lie. That's hot. Yeah. All I Grace has been getting your carpet can cleaned put... all week. She's been in New York <laughs> all week. <laughs> no, I'm carpet free at the moment, but oh, I've good been for enjoying you. it. 